this is a Victorian 1850s probably birdcage clock but it could be a post one because they look like raw iron to me three trains one two three they used to have ropes round them which had the weights on the end but this has been modernized so it's uh it's little, three little motors up there so they uh automatically wind it um they've still got weights so they just pull the weights up um the center one's a time mechanism hence the the motion thing there and whether you can see what type of motion it is the pendulums at the back we'll get to that in a bit that's doing the tick tocking and pass through the wheels being slowly pulled down by the weight of this one uh, notice the clock is a mirror image which is a bit strange they used to get wound up by winding these square knobs with big ratchets or some sort of suppose. Uh, this one is the big, the big bell, so the chiming on the hour. I want to look at the mechanism of that in a second. And then the third one over here is the chiming, the ting tang, um, on the quarter, half, and three quarter hours. That's called a fly, and that it goes off when the bells go off, and I think it sort of s slows it down so it bangs nicely, and there's levers off to where the bells go. So two levers here for the ting tang or ding dong. Um, I'm having problems with one of them because one of them tangs and the other one doesn't ding or whatever the word is. So I've made it a bit shorter with that strange little hook there. Hopefully, as an experiment, that will make it go properly. Right, uh, transmission mechanism there. Beautiful little bit of cog saw joined together. I think there's another one in the middle there. See it hiding in there? That goes through these to the motion. Mechanism, sort of not so clear. Um, cogs and so on. So we drive the, the the small hand and the small big hand and the big hand drives the small hand. There's counterweights there. There's one hiding up there. So that mirrors the time. So it's 22 three at the moment. I think it's going backwards. So mirror is 23, and that's hmm. Don't know now. 22, 3, somehow. It works, honestly. And there's uh, four of these motion mechanisms. I don't quite remember the right word is. Another one over there. Can you see it? Third one round there. And then the fourth. Right, but this brings us to the back of the clock, sort of the side of it first. So, sets of wheels on that side, and then wheels on this side. So there's sort of empty space in the middle. Now, oops. The clock one, there's the pendulum. So if you see down there, you might see the pendulum itself. So the clock mechanism is there, tick tock. That's some sort of spring keeping it going. This is the hour um, train and the hour fly. And I've forgotten what this wheel is called, but it's vital for the chiming. I've got the motion. It is called the. Oh, I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. Um, so the gap, the the notches on it are at irregular intervals. So the longer the space between gaps, the more chiming it will do. If you lift that lever, see a lever there? Uh, that lever there. Right, so what's going to happen? 
Ooh. Got half past already. Well, I think that might have been a bit of mechanical or electronic winding. Right, the lift that lever, it will then start chiming while the lever is on top of the wheel and then when it falls into the gaps it stops chiming. Hence the different size of gaps, so the more chimes you get with the bigger gaps entry. Right, there you go. Uh, and then the other one, there's a connection, there's a black rod connecting across from the the big bell chiming to the ting tang mechanism. Right, so we can get there. Great big hole in the ground. So I'm being very cautious. <laughs> that doesn't make it look too scary. Right, ooh, don't know what that thing is over here. Right, that's the regulator for the chimes with uh, less gaps on it. It's got four gaps, so a ting-tang for quarter past, two ting-tangs for half past, three ting-tangs for quarter two, and then before the hour it was four ting-tangs, and then the big bell goes bong. But there you go. And then there's things I've no idea about, and that one there, that strange shaped wheel. Have a clue. But when you break it down, it's not so complicated. There's a lever, so presumably if I... Oh, that lever's lifted. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Don't know why it's lifted. I'll go to investigate that a bit. Right, there you go. Oh, the weights, I've not seen the weights yet. There's the weights, there's two, oh, three rate weights there. And they get wound up now by the electronic motor. And way down, ooh, way, way down there is. I mean, it's supposed to be a sandpit or something, just in case they break. So it's it, they can break and fall, and not hit anybody underneath or break through anything. There. There we go. So what time are we now? Oh, quarter two, so... Better get three tangs, I'll have to wait on for this then. Here we go. Excellent, it went ting tang. That's the first time in years. Wow, I'm chuffed. Mm -hmm.